Okay, hey YouTube. So this is Free and Be and Me, and I'm getting ready to go to my beauty school orientation. And all I did was just brush out my hair. I parted a part right here. Make sure this is even. Hold on. So this I'm going to flat iron the clip. And this I'm just going to, I'm going to brush this back into like a ballerina bun. And then I'm going to use a piece of, um, of a, like a artificial hair to give it some extra stability. So, I need to put some protector on there. Y'all know me. I always talk about my Mega Silk Olive Polishing Gloss. It is perfect for heat. And I use this whenever I do a blowout or whenever I do a um, any type of flat ironing or heat at all. Even I, and I use it sometimes even after I take out a twist out just to give it some gloss. So I used about a dime size amount, but if I feel a need, I'll just put some on each part that I make. So let's get started. The curling iron that I'm using is a Revlon ceramic. And I have it on number 12, hopefully, that will be just the temperature I need. What I like about this curling iron is not only is it a flat iron, but it has that beveled edge, so it curls it too. I think what I'll do once I curl each piece is I'll go ahead and just pin it just to keep it until I'm ready to take it out. in two pieces. I feel that one needs like it feels a little dry. I'm gonna put some um, some of my olive oil polishing in. I'm just gonna squirt some on my my sink. I'm just put some on there. Now the reason my hair looks the way it did, um, it's not that, you know, that super curly like after you wash it or whatever, it's because it's been a couple of days since it's been like a Bantu knot out. So it's kind of straightened it enough to where I didn't have to do the, um, you know, the dryer and all that to get it straight enough to be able to do what I'm doing now. I just brushed them out. I did a style a lot when I was um, when I had permed here. 
I would just do a bang and a, you know, like a little ballerina knot in the back. Because it's such just an easy go-to style. Um, you know, it's a little bit classy. It's just a classic go-to style. I like it. Um, I like how quick it, it takes. I mean, it's not that long to get the effect that I want. Let's see if I have to part this in three sections. Oh, my other curl just came up. Oh. I hate when that happens. Should be all right. Okay. This one might have to be parted. Let's see what's kind of kind of too thick to get the look that I'm going for. I'm going to run through. And you know what? With that polishing olive oil, I don't mind running the heat through like that because it really protects it and it just really gives it a shine. I haven't had a problem with it at all. It's not heavy. It's light. It smells good. So... Look how quick that was. In just six minutes, I'm almost done with my bangs. I mean, you talk about a quick style that you can wear anywhere if you get, you know, you want something that's just a little bit out of the norm of your curly look. I'm probably going to end up brushing this one to go that way, but for now, that's alright, because I have to get to that knot in the back. Hold on, y'all, I've got my comb. Let me make sure my volume is up. Oh, I just had to turn my volume up, so I don't know how long the first part of the video is. So I'll just repeat what I did because I just turned the volume up. I parted my hair in a section. I parted out the bangs. And then I just pulled back the back. And I started to just flat iron my bangs because I'm going to have like a flat, um, like a curl in the front, like some curly bangs in the front. And then I want the, like the little, I call it the, ballerina bun. I think that's what a lot of people call it too. The ballet bun. And then I'm going to use a piece of hair extension. Just a piece out of a braid packet. You know, just the regular cheap braid packets that are probably about, I mean, you can find them for like three, four dollars at synthetic hair. But I use it because I can cut out a piece, I can braid it, and then I can use it to give it fullness, and I'll show you what I mean. And I keep dropping my comb. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. So now it's time to smooth the back. to be as smooth as possible because I'm going to need it to wrap around that synthetic hair which is not the color that my hair is now because my natural hair is like a jet black and the braid is a brown so I'm really going to have to be careful and make sure that I hide it. Let me get my trusty water bottle. Like always, this is not frizzies, it's just water. Oh wait, but I do have a bottle that is water, it's just regular oil water and grapefruit 
seed oil. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Careful not to spray what I just flat ironed, but I might have to go over it in a minute. Bring it back some weight. Don't clog up on me. Alright, so this video is already at 10 minutes 19, so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn back on another one to give you the, um, the finished look. I need to just put some olive oil in here. Brush it all up. So, I'm going to turn this off and I'll be back in a minute because I'm going to start part two of this. Give me a second. I'll grab my olive oil. So we have a couple of minutes just to add some olive oil to the hair. Not olive oil. Um, I'm sorry. Eco Styler. And I got the one with the olive oil in it, so my brain just totally skipped the part that it's Eco Styler gel and said olive oil. Oh, pregnancy brain. All right, I'm stopping it now, and I'll start back up in a minute. <laughs> 